Hey Rodi Coders, in my recent job search I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video we will be solving a question that was asked in Health Tricks interview. So the interviewer asked me to create a method to check whether the given input string forms a valid parenthesis or not. So here is this particular question and we will be given a string and we need to check whether it forms a valid string parenthesis or not if it forms then we have to return true and if it won't form in that case we need to return false and not just in health tricks interview this question was asked in many other interviews as well and it was asked to me in Leash's interview and the similar kind of pattern question was asked in high radius as well where the interviewer gave me some html uh, form and he asked me whether it forms proper html or not html tags or not here a particular html tag should have its own closing tag as well so this is also a similar kind of question and literally telling this question was asked in many interviews okay so let's start coding this particular uh, question and as it is important i have created a blog on this particular question and i'll be sharing the link to the blog in the description here in dsa this most important uh, questions will be available let me open this valid parenthesis and here is this particular question and let's start coding this particular question okay so here we need let me copy this particular question and paste it here in the editor okay and here we need to create a method to check whether uh, a given string is a valid parenthesis or not so validate parent Par. okay this is my method where it will have a string as an input or prop and we need to check whether this particular string is forms a valid parenthesis or not okay so let me call this particular string with this input so here console.log okay so now we need to kind of create this method so if you understand it properly to check whether it forms a valid parenthesis or not we have to iterate over each and every character of the given string okay and we also have to understand that for every open brace we should have a closed brace and which is of similar kind let's say if if the open brace is of curly brace in that case the closed brace should also be curl, curly brace to form a valid parenthesis right so what we'll have to do means we'll have to iterate over these characters and for every open brace we have to check whether a closed brace is present or not okay so what i'll be doing i'll be kind of iterating over my whole string okay let i is equals to zero i less than string dot length i plus plus i'll be iterating over whole of my string and then i'll be checking if it is an open brace i'll have to check the closed brace to it so what i'll be doing i'll be kind of creating an array if the character at that particular index is an open brace in that case i'll be pushing into my array okay array empty array i have taken if it's an open brace i'll be pushing it to my array if it is a closed brace in that case whatever i have pushed i'll be kind of popping that okay so and then what happens means after iterating all of these items whatever open brace i i'll push if a closed brace is there for that open brace then i'll be kind of popping so at the end my array should be empty if it is an empty then it will kind of form a valid parenthesis this is the first criteria at least right for every open brace we will have to have a closed brace so what i'll be doing i'll be kind of written something like if my array length is empty okay if my array length is empty in that case i'll return true in other case i'll return false okay so now while iterating every open brace i'll be pushing into my array okay if if the character okay if the character at that particular index 
for the input string is an open race okay is an open race in that case i'll be kind of pushing that into my array to check whether it's an open race or not i'll be kind of creating a mapping so that it will be easier for me so i'll be creating an object where i'll have all of the open brace okay for an open brace i'll have a closed brace this is kind of the mapping that i'm going to create so it will be you know very useful to check whether for a particular open brace a closed brace are there or not we can check so what i mean is for this particular open brace this particular closed brace should only be present right but not something other kind of closed brace so here let's say for this i need to have this particular brace okay here it's an object so i'll be kind of creating mapping for all of these elements okay all of these braces and i'll be checking if if my string character let's say this is an open brace to check whether it's an open brace or not i'll have to check whether this particular key is present in my object or not okay object of this particular you know key which is this which will be this if a value is present for this corresponding key in that case what i'll be doing i'll be kind of pushing that particular string that particular open brace okay that particular open brace into my array okay and if a closed brace is present in that iteration in that case i'll be kind of popping the element that i pushed okay so in else case it will be definitely a closed brace right so in else case what i'll be doing means i'll be popping that particular last element okay i'll be kind of popping that last element here in else case constant popped element is equals to here array dot pop i'll be doing so what i'll be getting means in this iteration i'll be kind of popping this element okay i'll be popping this element and i'll have to check for this particular open brace only this particular closed brace should be present so for that what i'll be doing i'll be checking the popped element okay the popped element which will be this okay that popped element key okay that popped element of this particular object which will be the value of this particular popped element this is the value so if this value is equals to that particular iteration character okay in that case i'll kind of say it's a valid parenthesis so in other cases what i'll say i'll kind of written false here okay so let me dry run with this particular input here this is the input so here we got the string and then in the first iteration this open brace value is present in this particular object so i'll be pushing that open brace into my array here this is my open brace firstly okay and in the second iteration this is the one closed brace the closed brace the closed brace key is not present in this particular object key so i'll be kind of going into this else loop in this else loop i'll kind of pop my last element which is this particular element i'll be kind of popping here okay so in this particular popped element i'll have this this element where, and this array will not be there now this popped element this element value i'm checking this popped element value would be this element and if this closed brace is not equals to 
our string element which is the second one in that case i'll have to kind of written false right if it is not equals to means if it is something something else in that case only i have to written false in other cases i just popped uh, popped the elements and at the end if the array is empty in that case it will be true so yeah let's check all of these scenarios as well let me copy paste this particular console here and let me paste this particular string to check whether it's a valid parenthesis or not okay in the similar way let's uh, also paste other strings whether they form a valid parenthesis or not okay so here i'm pasting these items and let me execute this and see yeah if you see both of these two strings are valid and this one is false because this particular you know uh, closing bracket is showing first and then the opening bracket so it is a not a valid parenthesis and so i'm creating more of this particular interview questions playlist so please do subscribe to my channel okay